Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing a backup camera on this 2005 Ford F-350. In this install, we're going to show you how to mount a camera to the license plate area, run all the wiring up underneath the truck, and attach everything to an existing aftermarket radio. Let's get started. Alright, so here at the bench, the camera kit that we're going with is a full aluminum license plate camera by WordCam. Open this up here. In this kit comes with an RCA cable, which essentially takes the image from the camera itself, which plugs into one end, and then through the RCA cable, delivers that image to the aftermarket radio through the other end. This end would plug into the radio, this end plugs into the camera. Additionally, it has a little lead off that just runs in parallel through all this wire too as well. This can be used as your trigger wire or the power wire for the camera. It has a power harness for the camera itself. And finally, the license plate camera. Now, like I said, it's full aluminum. It's nice and sturdy and heavy, which is super great. It has night vision LEDs on it. it. has a little film over the, the camera just so you don't scratch it while installing. It's uh, adjustable and you can tighten it down with little Allen keys there at the bottom. So essentially here, what we're going to do to hook this up in the truck, we will plug our RCAs into one end, run all this cable, this lot of this cable, along the factory wiring loom on the frame rail of the truck. We'll go up into the cabin, and then this end will plug into our radio. Now what we're going to use this little lead for is we're going to power a camera with it. So we'll grab our harness. This end plugs into the power harness here, and then... With that connected, we separated our red and our black wire. I'm going to cut our red wire a little short. So what I've done is I cut that short, and what we're going to do with our camera power wire is we're actually going to connect it to the lead there, and our power wire is going to run through that, and then this end, that'll be back behind the radio, we're going to connect it to accessory power. So essentially, this red wire is going to power the camera when the truck is on. And all we have to do is just ground it. So we'll probably ground it at the reverse light still. What we're gonna do is we like to protect our wiring a little bit more up underneath the truck. We're gonna loom this. We have quarter inch loom, split loom, plastic loom that we're gonna run over this wire. And uh, with that, that allows us to start running the wire in the truck. Now what we've done here is this is power harness to the camera. And this is our video output of the camera. With our power harness as a red and a black wire, red wire, we tied it into this little lead off our video wire because we're going to carry that power connection all the way up to back behind the radio. So our red wire connected it, we soldered it in. For ground of our camera, we ran it through this split loom and it comes out here and we're going to go ground it at our reverse light, negative wire. Now you're probably wondering, hey, what's this purple wire? Well. On our radio, it has a trigger wire, which is a purple white wire. That wire essentially tells the radio to go in reverse when it detects the truck is backing up. The way it detects it is we need to connect that purple white wire on the back of the radio to the reverse light's positive wire. So when that light is hot, essentially what that's gonna do is put power to that wire on the radio and automatically cycles it over to reverse. So we have a length of purple wire. It's about 18 gauge and we ran it through this loom and we're, we're going to keep running it through the loom all the way to the front and we ran it all the way to the other end of our harness here where see we our video wire comes out well we have this this is going to go up to back behind the radio and connect into the purple white wire on the back of the radio. This end will plug into the camera input on the back of the radio and this will plug into accessory to power the camera. So that is what we have in this loom. The whole thing is loomed. So what we have here is our connection and then a little end that goes off to the reverse light and then all the rest of it that'll run along the frame rail all the way to the back of the radio. So with our wire all prepped and loomed up, ready to go, let's head back to the truck, mount our camera and start running our wire.
ran our ground for the camera and our trigger wire up through there and that's where you saw us pull it up for the reverse light connection. We zip tied it up there and then we zip tied our connections. We heat shrunk them till they're all nice and solid and started running them this way along the frame rail. Past the spare tire, up and over. You see that smaller split loom, that's ours. Past the rear axle, up and over just like so. Folds along, you can see your split loom there. Zip tied it along the way. Once we pass the gas tank, continue the split loom, zip tie it to the existing loom, pass the transfer case skid plate, and then we take a hard right, go through the frame rail, out the frame rail, through a little loop there, through a loop there, and we're gonna go through this grommet. So let's go top side, pull the carpet out of the way, put a hole in that grommet, and feed our wire through into the cabin. All right, so unfortunately, as we pulled it through the carpet here, it's gonna be a little short. It won't make it all the way. So what we did is we added a coupler and another six foot RCA. It doesn't matter what color it is, um, but we added that coupler and RCA. We'll link this, all these parts in the description, just in case you're looking for uh, these to purchase yourself. And then we extended our purple wire a little bit longer. And then remember this wire that goes in parallel with our RCA? Well, that's our power wire for our camera. It's also too short. So we just added some more red wire. And uh, now we're gonna continue on, and this will go all the way up to the dash. So what we did is ran it to the left here. We went up and over the top of the carpet, and then right up there, and fished it right through the dash, and there are our connections. Perfect. We can put the carpet all back together in the kick pedal, and we're ready at this time to get the radio back in the dash. Okay, so for the backup camera, we need to make our final connections here. Now remember the red wire here that we ran connects to the red wire of the RCA and goes all the way back to the power wire of our camera. So we need to connect that into accessory. And what we did when we built this harness is we paralleled in just another white, red wire for accessory where essentially that'll power the camera whenever the radio is on. Now this is our trigger wire. This connects into the purple white of our radio. And then this is our video wire, which will connect into the camera input on the back of the radio. So at this point, let's now make our connections. With the radio all reassembled, the dash back into place and everything connected, let's go ahead and do a final test here. So let's put it in reverse. There we go. Perfect. Nice clear HD image. Pull it out of reverse. Okay. Let's now manually call upon the, the camera. Perfect. We can now also use the camera when not in reverse, which is a nice convenience to have, especially if you're towing and you just want to check on your cargo. Well, that's about it for the backup camera install. Now, if you wanna see how we installed this radio, go ahead and check the description. We'll have a link there to that video as well as a card up above where we walk you through step-by-step -step on how to install a brand new doubled in touchscreen in the factory location. Be sure to hit that like button if you like what you saw and don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. 
we will see you in the next video.